Welcome back to some Genshin Impact. Today, we are going to be looking at the new Arataki Ito Drummer event, um, which I'm very intrigued about. We get another music event and some other mini games along the side as well. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look, see what we got going on here today. Oh, <laughs> that's cool, man. We also get a, a free Goro, which I actually don't have. So, and then obviously we get a new instrument. That'll be cool. Iridescent Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness. This is gonna be lit. On a certain day, you and Paimon receive an invitation sent by one Arataki Ito, inviting you to take part in an event spurred onward by the unbridled passion within you embark on a journey to Watatsumi. Haha, -ha, wanna guess who this is from? It's me, amigo. That's right, your bestest bud who's been down in Inazuma missing you. We just, we just hung out with you with the uh, Beetle event again. I recently ran into a new Fontanian friend and he said they've got a music festival card, the Iridescence Tour over there. And yours truly instantly thought of that drum along festival we had last time and how we drummed it up on Amakane Island. I do remember that. Singing and scarfing roasted lavender melons. Ah, oh, yeah. No, those are some great memories. You haven't forgotten either, right, compadre? Man, it'd be great if you could for forget about the part about the Daniel Commission botching drums on the rest of me. Totally my mistake. But this time, I've got even... I've decided to work with my new pal and host an even bigger, even badder, even wilder musical. It's gonna be called The Iridescent Arataki Rock... Rockin' for life toward the force of awesomeness. What do you think? Doesn't the name alone just set your soul on fire? So stop dragging your feet and get your tushy on over to Watatsumi Island because the one and only has still got a lot to say. Be there or be square if you know show, then there's no show. So anyway, of course, I didn't have Shinobu transcribe this for me. He totally did. <laughs> Except invitation, of course. Of course. Go to Watatsumi Island. Wait, it's been a minute. Hot minute since we've done anything at Watatsumi Island, bro. Honestly. And it's beautiful. Whoa. Oh, so this is the venue, huh? Not half bad. Where, where, where's the venue? Oh, oh yes, yes, this is gonna be sick. Ah, don't you worry, Jack Attack. We'll find that dog, even if it's hiding in Tenshu Kaku. Ito, it, it's just a myth. Also, Dvorak is back. That's fun. What dog? Hey, yo, what it is? Padre and Paimon. You already know who it is. <laughs> you finally made it. Oh man, have I missed you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is Dvorak, a musician from Fontaine. Jack Attack, you know these two, right? Hey, Mr. Dvorak, it's you! <laughs> ah, it's so wonderful to see you both again. I feel like that lantern right was just yesterday. Word. How have you been? Pretty good. So how did you end up hanging around with Ito? Is he helping you with the iridescence tour right now? Yeah, we've been pretty good, man. We just, you know, saved another nation. No big deal. Oh, you better believe it, Minnie Melon. But that's only half the story. This is no ordinary iridescence tour. Me and Jack Attack are teaming up to turn this into the iridescent Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness. <laughs> Rockin' for Life? What do you know about rock and roll, Bull Chucker? Hey, where's Zinyan? Huh? What, you never heard of Bull Chucker rock before? No. Moo, moo, moo! Uh, and, uh. <laughs> this is gonna be the stupidest event on planet Earth. <laughs> Don't try and understand it, Mini Melon. It'll melt your mind. It's about letting loose. Come on, give us some lavender melon rock. Okay, speak for yourself, mister. Sounds like you're the one whose mind is melting. Just to backtrack a little, what is this dog that you were talking about? <laughs> Just a local legend I heard about. Oh. Apparently, there was a war between the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi oh, yeah. not too long ago. Goro, duh. Is that such a waste? Duh. When will people learn? Make rock and roll, guys. Not war. Facts. Uh, a tragedy, to be sure. Countless animals were affected by the fallout. A raven, a bakadanuki, a weasel thief, and many more sustained injuries. Mm. Uh, the babies. Fair point. The animals didn't deserve that. But, I'm not to downplay it or anything, but... Didn't even worse stuff happen than that? In the eyes of a rocker, all living things are equally important. Okay, so th did this dog get injured too? No, the story goes that this dog was something like a ninkin. It would show up out of nowhere in the middle of a battle to rescue the injured animals all and right. take them to safety. Wait, it's an actual dog? I thought it was Goro. Well, I... I Goro wasn't, I don't think, anything anywhere on the on the cover, so I guess that makes sense. It's an it's not an actual dog. Rocking and rolling to the rescue. A king among canines. Woo! <laughs> there will always be a place for him in the Arataki gang. Okay, where did you hear about this, bro? In Rito. I was actually there while the war was going on. A word? It inspired me to write a song about it. 
I was even planning to host a music festival around the same theme, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't convince my investors. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. I heard all about that. They claimed they had to cancel their plans because of an accident at sea, but <laughs> that was just a lame excuse. Bruh. Uh, yes. They weren't optimistic about the potential return on investment. Plus, I don't know, there seemed to be some other risks they were worried about. What kind of risks? Good question. Risks only apparent to people with Mora to throw around, I suppose. I agree. <laughs> when people have too much Mora, they lose their rock and roll spirit. They do, huh? So what do you mean by rock and roll spirit anyway? Uh, you know, the spirit of, uh, you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches, <laughs> and that sort of stuff. Huh. Hmm. By that definition, aren't the investors the most rock and roll people in this scenario? Anyway, point is, those oh, chumps are damn, out, and Arataki just... Ito is in. I'm running the show from here on out. Oh, yeah, right. How are you going to fill in for the investors? Do you even have any more? I have faith in Ito. He tells me that the Arataki gang is a small but well-known and influential organization in this area. Right. And has even been known to rub shoulders with the local authorities. Mm. Isn't that right? A word? Rub shoulders is putting it mildly. More like they're always locking horns. Hey, don't look down your nose at the Arataki gang. I got connections, all right? Even the track commission listens to what I have to say. No, the hell they don't. Okay, Mr. Big Shot, whatever you say. Literally, no, they you don't. You can doubt it all you want, Minnie Melon, but it's the truth. You know that guy in the Yashiro Commission? Who? Well, he and I are officially uh, bros. That's it. right. I'm talking about Toma, housekeeper extraordinaire. I, I thought he was thinking about Ayato. I was like, Ayato's not going to put up with your shit, dude. But Toma, Toma's cool. Toma's chill. So, you know. And there's the general from the Tenryo Commission, Kujo Tengu. Oh, okay. I mean, sure, we're always ribbing each other, but it comes from a place of deep mutual respect. He is lying straight out of his teeth. Mutual? Yeah, Paimon's not so sure about that. Eh. Eh. Excuse me, so what about the Kanjo Commission? Okay, fair. No first name contacts there. But the Arataki gang is a big contributor to the revenue stream. All those fines we pay. Right. Uh, fines? Oh, boy. Huh? No! Uh, I meant, I mean, the uh, uh, taxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that face before. Yeah, but that's not all. Let's not forget my contacts outside of the Tri Commission, huh? Amazing, talented people from all walks of life. Like, uh, oh! Like yeah, there TCG is he. legend, there he Ayato. Is. Oh, what? yeah. He's made quite a name for himself in the TCG circles. Wait, really? Ayato and Sino match when? In fact, they got a saying now. Ayato of the South, Ito of the North. <laughs> That's right. I'm the only serious competition he's got in all of Inazuma. Look at my dude's face, bro. Did you make that saying up? Then there's the Fox Lady, VIP oh. customer of Yukio's ramen stall and fellow participant in the Ramen Masters Championship. I was her only worthy opponent. Just yapping out the teeth. Also, you know that lonely god in Tenshukaku? Well, guess what? Turns out lonely. it was her lifelong wish to catch one of Arataki Ito's events. Oh my gosh, bro. During the drug what is he festival, talking the about? Tenryo Commission were worried that their almighty shogun might have too much fun and lose interest in running the government. That's why they invited me over to stay for a couple of days. Nobody believes any of the last five minutes worth of words that you just said. <laughs> Look at you! Sounds like you're really going up in the world. At this rate, you'll have made Shogun by the next time we see you! And then Paimon will have to call you Almighty Bullchucker! The Arataki gang never ceases to amaze. Um, well, I'll admit I heard a few exaggerations there myself. Oh, you think? Regardless, Ito has helped me secure a venue for this event, and for that, I owe him my thanks. Ah, it's nothing. Don't mention it. My bro Goro sorted it all out for me. Okay, bet. Let's both go thank him later. See, there's Goro. Wait, you know Goro? Wait, we don't know that he knows Goro? Yep. I always knew him as General Goro of the Resistance Fighters. But I had no idea there was more to the story. Turns out, he has another identity. <gasps> A cat? You've, what other? uh, heard of Miss Hina, right? Oh! Ah! What, gender bender? Miss Hina, so you- Hey, no need to yell, all right? Yes, Miss Hina. She's the one who told me. Okay. <laughs> I'm so, so confused. Dude, I don't think y'all understand. If Miss Hina becomes playable, bruh, 
everybody losing their damn mind, bruh. I know y'all have seen the poster in Inazuma next to that, uh, the book area. I forgot what that place is actually called. Boy, it'd be over. It would be wraps. It would be wraps. I think they should make her a playable character, though. If they keep talking about her and stuff, I think, I think she'll be, I think she should be playable. That would be, I would be so awesome. Um, shit, bruh. So, Ms. Hina said that uh, Goro has another form. Or After identity. falling for the Tenryo Commission's tricks at the Drum Along Festival, I figured I'd find a new location this time, somewhere out of their reach, like uh, here, for example. So, I wrote Miss Hina a letter asking if she knew anything about the procedure for holding an event on Watatsumi Island. Did you give her uh, the digits? She wrote me back right away and said I could ask Watatsumi Island's general for help, uh... and that his name was Goro. I was like. What? General Goro is the general of all Watatsumi Island? Yeah! That was close. Paimon's with you now, but <laughs> what did you think general meant? What do you mean? Isn't it like one general per <laughs> squad or something? Did, wait, did we think for a second that General Goro was Miss Ina? I don't know. I don't know That's what's going on anymore. a captain. Really? Huh. Well, either way, if it wasn't for Miss Hina, I never would have known. Pretty rock and roll, huh? <laughs> har, har, har. All right. Good chat, compadre. I just remembered I got a meeting with Goro coming up. Gonna ask him about that dog situation. Gonna have to love you and leave you for now. Uh, no. We're joining in meeting, Miss Hina. <laughs> <laughs> you guys focus on are never gonna see her in game. I'm festival. coping so hard. I think I can handle this little canine conundrum. What is the festival already started? There's still a few days left until the big party, oh, so okay. not everything's set up yet. But uh, the jam zone and the roasted lavender melon zone are ready for action. Oh, word on shit. Have fun, compadre. Got a dash. I want to <sighs> see. What a character. I want to see this hero. Kind of admire his enthusiasm, though. Well, it looks like it's just the three of us for now. Why don't I show you the jam zone to start with? The jam zone. I like that name. Ooh wee! Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. This ain't your daddy's iridescent store. <laughs> what is, is that a reference to something? I don't know what that means. Here we are. I've supplied musical scores and instruments from various regions, including a horn I personally brought from Fontaine. What about the DJ? Uh, you can play whatever DJ. music you like. Oh, where can we play? Uh, can we play rhythm? Can we play dubstep, please? If you get tired, the roasted lavender melon zone is just over there. Of course. Ito says that lavender melons are <clears throat> rock and roll fuel. So what do you think? Want to give it a try? I guess that makes Paimon fly and rock and roll fuel. Hey, cut that out! No. Oh, lucky Ito's gone. Otherwise, Paimon would never hear the end of it. He ain't lying. Uh, let's change the topic. What other fun stuff is there to do here, Mr. Dvorak? Well, we're planning to invite some more music enthusiasts, and can we're we still get, getting some supplies you know, together, so we can decorate the place a little. Can we get Skrillex? Can we get, you know, <laughs> can we get some DJs? But it could take some time. The Arataki gang has shifted their focus to the dog situation ever since I brought it up. Interesting. Only one of them is actually sticking to the plan. Oh. Her name is Kuki Shinobu. Oh, we She's know out who delivering that is. invitations right now. We know. Yep, like that's we don't the know. Arataki gang. Like we don't know who that is. Everyone else goofs around while Shinobu gets things done. Uh-huh. We should help out. We can't let this event get totally derailed when Shinobu's out there doing her part. She be I. I want to oh, do I mean, this. Are you sure? No, I want to do this jam session. That uh, would be extremely useful. Ugh. We're starting to get behind schedule, and a couple extra pairs of hands could make all the difference. No problem. We're happy to help. Can so I get you paid? Need us to find some music lovers and gather materials for decorating. Was that it? Exactly. According to the original plan, we aim to finish everything in five days, and then the big party can begin. Uh, actually, uh, give me a second. I'll make you a checklist of all the outstanding tasks. That way it'll all be clearer. That's what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, also, one other tidbit to share with you. Ito is planning to perform a song on stage on the final <laughs> day of the event. <laughs> Look at <laughs> I know y'all saw Paimon's face, bro. She went, <gasps> Ah, shit. Ugh, typical bull chucker always has to be the center of attention. Hey, bro, come on, man. I want to see him. I swear to God, if it's like Hu Tao is rapping, bro, I'm going to lose it. Why don't you do a song too, Paimon? Oh, Paimon would steal the show for sure. No one would give Ito a second look after that. I ain't dang. Go help him out. I'm sure he'd yell out, 
I'm on so rock and roll it hurts. And then he'd run off the stage, bawling his eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some bold claims, Miss Paimon, but that kind of confidence would serve you well on the stage. Ah, oh, Paimon's just kidding. Anyway, we'll be ready for that checklist as soon as it's done, Mr. Dvorak. Great. Feel free to take a look around. I'll bring it over in a few minutes. Uh, I've looked around this place enough. Watasumi Island, I got 100% debt. You the venue. It looks nice. It's vibey. I like... Excuse me, good lord. I like it. I'm so glad it's in Watatsumi, bro. Well, well, well. Ooh. Isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Is that my four-star goat, Hazo? Bro, yes, it's been so long. I love Hazo. And I love Kuki, too. I use Kuki in, in uh, Spiral Abyss. <laughs> Whoa, Shinobu and Hazo. What a oh, surprise. Yes. <laughs> this truly is a pleasant surprise. Although... Not that surprising, to be honest. I was just telling Miss Shinobu that I had a sneaking suspicion we might run into you. Plot arm. Oh, well, he is a detective, so... <laughs> Doshin Shikanoin was talking about you constantly the whole way here. Who the hell did he? I guess the universe answered his prayers. Oh, never mind. Shikanoin. That's like his first name or whatever. Shikanoin <sighs> Heizo. It's called intuition. Names pop into my head at relevant moments. Just the way my mind works. Well, it's lit to see you both. I just saw Kuki not too long ago, man. He's always been like 800,000 years, bro. I went sure wasn't expecting Hazo to be the first one to show up. On Jay. Boss nagged me to prioritize the Tenryo Commission invitations. He specifically requested Madame Kujo Sara and Doshin Shikanoin. Kujo Sara? So, why isn't Sara here? <sighs> Almost certainly because she has no desire whatsoever to see Ito. I don't blame In her defense, <laughs> Here's what was written on the invitation letter. Oh boy. Kujo Tengu, come meet me at the top of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Let's go nuts and have a totally rock and roll sumo wrestling match. Is he out of his damn mind? If what? I were Kujo Sara, I'd jump at the chance to throw Ito off the roof. But then wouldn't Kokumi come and throw Sara off too? All that stomping around on her roof, the noise would drive her crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Madame Kujo Sara's response was much more magnanimous than mine would have been. She gave us a basket of lavender melons to bring as a gift. Of course. Magnanimous? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Something tells me she's trying to send a message. Define that word, what please. message? If that Oni brat wants to pick a fight with me, there will be plenty of lavender melons waiting for him at the police station. Oh. Maybe the fact you assume that says more about you than her. So what about the other basket of lavender melons, huh? Is that one from you? What message are you trying to send? They go to fight! <laughs> the other basket is actually from a few of us at the police station. Hey, Hazel could whip ass, bro. And so did some other Doshin who've arrested Ito before. And so did some of Ito's former cellmates. Damn. So, I guess this basket of lavender melons is our way of saying, there'll always be a place for you here. Damn well better be, because I saved his damnation. Uh, You're welcome. Maybe just give boss the melons and don't mention that part. Sure. Well, my work is done here, anyway. Now that I've delivered the lavender melons and said hello to the traveler, oh, I should probably get going. You just got here! Uh, aren't you gonna stay for the event? You just got here! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll definitely be back for the big party. But I have some business to attend to in Rito first. Ugh, hey, Hazel gets no screen time! Busy. I got you running around all over the place! Oh wait, Rito! Do you happen to know anything about a mystery Ninken that appeared during the war? Apparently, a lot of people in Rito were talking about it. Mm. Ah, the dog, yes. That was the inspiration behind this music festival, wasn't it? Shinobu told me all about it. Oh, never mind. Paimon just thought a detective might have the inside scoop. I'm only speculating scoop. here, but from experience, I'd say it's probably just a local legend. I doubt the dog even exists. Well, the dog about to exist. What's wrong? From the look on your face, You've got a vested interest in this situation. Hmm. Interesting. Well, since I'm going to Rito anyway, I can always ask around and see where it leads. Hey, how much you charge for your services? <laughs> Don't be silly. If this matters to you, that's a good sign that it'll turn out to be something that interests me, too. You ain't lying. <laughs> Stay tuned for more info. See you all soon. My goat. Goodbye. Goodbye, my four-star goat. Seems like Doshin Shikanoin's quite the lone wolf. Well, I better get back to delivering these invitations. Gotta make sure the big party's a success. In well, that case, guess it's time for.
for us to get to work, too. Yeah. I wonder how that checklist is coming along. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, there he is. Here's that list for you. I forgot he if was If you can here. work your way through all this, we'll be back on track. Word on track. Great! Perfect timing, Mr. Dvorak. We'll get on it right away. Thank you. I'm very grateful for your help. If you feel like flexing your musical muscles to take a break oh, at any point, just come and find me in the jam zone. Oh, we're gonna be jamming, all right. Okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> Yo! Bro, the electro thing is like a speaker. Oh my... Bitch. Oh. Hey. Oh my gosh, they was not playing in the studio. What? Okay. Oh my gosh. You need to relax with all this incredible ass music. Okay, yeah, that's the music thing. We'll definitely work on that. Trillion tr Trinket Trawl. We need Primal Constructs? For what purpose? Oh, look, yo, this looks sick, bro. Oh, there's only two? Unlock with the- oh, that's unlock one. Da, da. That, I- Ah, that is so cool! This is- this is nuts. Oh, it's the little things, bro. Ah, there he is. There he is. I don't have a Goro. I don't have one. What in the hell am I looking at? Uh, the ruin machines. That's just gonna be... Where's just the regular ones? Oh, God. I mean, right? To fight them, right? Is, am I... Is it correct if I make them? My Arlequin is just gonna destroy everything, too. Everlasting as the moon. Overrule. Ah, uh, okay, we need to defeat three. Okay, easy work, easy work. Oh, and uh, I can do this. Late bear. Hook? What? You didn't crit? That's BS. Come on, Harley. You are you are better than that. 35k charged. Oh brother. Are they supposed to be only in Inazuma? Yes, they are. That makes no sense. Uh, Huh? Huh? Overrule. It's, too, it's just too easy. It's just too easy. Oh my goodness. Please. Two shot, bro. Get that shit on my damn face. Boom! And then we got some more uh, heroes with your and primal drums. Now we can go defeat two types of primal constructs, which are from Sumeru. Hi, right, Blair. How you doing? Huh? 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 They don't even have time. They don't even have time to get, like, prepared. Oh, but, uh, uh, uh. Bro, Harley, Harley. Oh, two types of primal constructs. What the hell are the other kinds? Guardians of the Ancient Ruins Law. What other primal constructs exist? Am I tripping? Am I tweaking? Oh, okay. I need it. <laughs> there's two dogs. So there's you. Good. Easy work. I know this bitch don't want Late bear. Oh, Harley. 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 You have to create the meaning of melodies. How are we gonna do this? Complete Twilight's gl glow nocturne first of movements. What the hell is this? What it is? Could you play the piece of art? Oh, it's this! Oh, we gotta like put the right. Oh boy. Okay, sure. Give it a go. Okay, we gotta lock in. I was about to play Blue Dream also. During the meeting of melodies, you must choose the most suitable note. Bro, I don't know the. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I'm off. <laughs> Bitch, I'm so cooked. Look at my girl with the damn guitar. Uh-huh. I got that one. Okay, this one. Oh, that's easy work. That's easy work. My girl can kill the guitar, okay? Uh, oh, light, okay, this is gonna be light work. That's gonna be light work. Mamu, my food stall. Oh, this is gonna be light work. Too easy, bruh. Too easy. 
May I play it again? Dun. Okay, there we go. Okay. Dun. Uh huh. Yeah, this one. Dun, dun. They're all the same note, it's just different octaves. So it makes it even easier. Okay, easy work. Agro or Lakino is variant! Light work! Play Blue Dream. That's the damn theme song. Everybody knows this. Easy work. Easy work. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. I know these like the back of my hand. I always play with the music on. The game music on. It's been 20 years. You better, pick, you better bring your ass to this damn music festival. It's been too long since you've heard some heat. Boy, boy, boy. Oh, yeah. We get our Lakino C3 <laughs> with all these damn primitive jumps. I'm, I'm, I'm lying. I'd like to decorate the venue. Oh, yeah. really? You've got the things from the list? You know it. Great. I'll take those. Thanks so much. Spotlight is on. Okay. Oh, you just get more shits. F filled with fervor, not famished. Lit. Oh my god. Oh. Does it look any different? Oh, we got stalls? Change lighting color! <gasps> Yo! Ooh, I like that little purple that's going on there. Oh! Yeah, make them all purple. Yo! Dude! This might, this, oh, this might be lit. This might be lit. Uh, what else do we need here? Oh, fervor favors. Oh, yeah. Boom! We got the horn. Let's go. I think that means we can now start playing the actual sound. Or what? Start playing the actual instrument. Yeah. I said, uh. I said, uh. I said, whoa. Okay, we just got the, uh. Ooh. Okay, what we got going on? Inter interface styles? Oh my lord, what in the world is happening here? Selectable themes. Oh, those look the exact same. Oh, based on the scales, okay. Yo, look at all these themes we can get. Oh yeah, we'll definitely try the Linny style out. One and Oni King. Bitch. Oh, this is about to go crazy. All right, let's go. Look at my girl playing the flute. Or what? The horn. I say, oh, I was not ready. Yo, I used to sweat with this shit. Okay. Fuck. I'm already I'm already messing up. I say, whoa. I'm messing up. Hey. Oh. Oh. Jay, I keep. <laughs> I keep messing up the keys. I'm gonna lose it in a second. I, it's been a minute, y'all. Why do I keep doing that shit? Oh, this is gonna be a long video. Oh my god! I gotta change my keys. I keep pushing the wrong buttons. My hand eye coordination is terrible. Look at my girl going crazy. She's killing that shit. I'm not, I'm afraid. I, I'm terrible at this game. Is that enough? Hey, okay, it was. <laughs> it was, what, Dalsum, right? Okay, that was enough. Gosh, okay, but I have to do this now, right? Ugh! Like, I don't know what buttons to press. Oh my, I keep pressing D when I want to hit S. Dude, I have no idea what's going on. See, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen with me. See, this is more of my speed. <laughs> I hate everything, bro. Well, who is doing that? How the fuck did I get Dolson, bro? What? I was at 67. Like, how? Nah, I'm never doing this again. <sighs> Let's lock in. Son of a bitch. Well, that was better. 
I got 90. I got 98 percent. But see, I think last time with the drum event, we needed like Discantis for like oh rewards, but we only need Dulcet now. I just I am so bad at this game. I'm just terrible. I'm terrible. I'm terrible, but I have fun, but I'm terrible. Goodness me. Oh, man. All right, well, I'll be back for day two. I did this Nahita one. It was awful. I did terrible. But we got Rex Incognito next. I'm going to do the smart thing also and kind of, you know, Hello. not great. do the hardest version first. Is this like Zhang Li's demo song or something? I've definitely heard this song before. It's kind of a classic. This is my pace. Oh, oh no! I almost messed up. I think I hit like perfect, perfect. Like 100%. Candle Russ! Hey, we did, we hit something good. Ah, oh, motherfucker. I was so close. Oh, here we go, boys. It's the end. Alright, I think that was still definitely Discantis. Right. Yeah, 98. We really gotta lock in. Like, lock in. Oh, oh god. Oh, okay. Where did that come from? <laughs> I missed. I'm terrible. I'm oh my gosh. I think I just need a dulcum, right? So, we gooch. Yeah. Thank God, bro. I would not have been able to go further than that. This is where I get cooked. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I, I just, I like to be a completionist and just die. How do y'all people do this shit? Guys, like, I keep hitting J when I'm supposed to hit K and, oh, I wish I was good at this game. I bet it's so satisfying for you people, but not for me. You know what? I got Dolson. So you know what? I'm happy. So that was that. We need to do the Trillion Trinket Troll now. We need to photograph some damn pets. Oh, wait, wait. No, where are y'all going? Wait, what? No, I didn't even, I barely even moved. Where are y'all going? I hate, I hate everything. I'm not having fun. Help me, please. Bro, am I that evil? I know I'm a harbinger, but damn. Wait, I know where to find birds. Timmy, I possibly forget. Dude, how do you do this? Wait, is it because of the rain? Oh my lord. I mean, do these count? Barley, fucking move. There we go. Boom. Okay, now I gotta do another type. I think these guys count. Boom. Nice. Okay. And then dogs. This one will be easy because they don't run away. <laughs> just take a picture of a damn dog. Yeah, there's, 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 there's one down here. Don't mind me. Just a, oh, there's a kitty. Wait, 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 wait. I need cats. I need cats. I need cats. Boom. Easy work. That's the dogs done. Now I just need cats. Let's go to the Asase Shrine. Okay, I know damn well. I, you mean to tell me I've been here for like years and I have not got that waypoint? Really? That's how we're gonna do this? Yes. Neko counts. Yay. <laughs> That is, uh, that's a Fontaine song. Okay, that's easy. Da, da. Na, 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 na. Who the hell is running around on my damn screen? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. I know this one by heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who the hell is this? Ma'am, back up. I'm in line first. <laughs> Come on, man, come on. Hey, I get to hear it every single day. Trust me. It'll be nostalgic. It already is kind of nostalgic when I hear it. What, Eddie? Looks like that. There's a there's a different poster up there. If that if that's anything, maybe. Is it just different lighting colors again? 
Maybe, but I couldn't tell you to be honest. <laughs> kind of creative because we. Oh, I can buy stuff? <gasps> Wait, are these new? We can actually buy Dongo milk? <gasps> wait, Sayu's here. Wait, wait. I think this is all new. Why is Sayu just sitting there? Why is Sayu just chilling? Like, we know it's you, right? <laughs> Yo, I just was doing some of the uh, the only thing that was today. But I see Aimiko, the goat. I'm like, what the fuck? Hi, Miko. That's all you have to say after all this time apart? How devastating. Uh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Can I, uh, I'll beg on my knees, please. To think of all the times that I've sat down beneath the sacred Sakura praying for your well-being on your travels. <laughs> you can tell she's so sarcastic. But I think I understand. Another wise and beautiful soul has stolen your heart, haven't they? Oh! I'm sure you cast aside the omamori I gave you long ago. Alas, I am but another fleeting passerby on your journey. Nonsense! You can always count Miko to tease the traveler relentlessly. I don't think she teasing, bro. Well, it's not my fault that he's the most appealing little fortune slip in the world. <laughs> if I didn't indulge my curiosity by taking a peek inside, goodness knows how I'd sleep at night. Hey, I'm pulling, bro. I actually was gonna pull for her. Wait, I see Ms. Rena sign. What the fuck? Um, I was gonna pull for her. But then I didn't. I think I got righted instead or something. Though I must say, another interesting fortune slip caught my attention recently. I believe you've heard of it too. What it, what, what, what it is? This iridescent, oh. arataki, rockin' for life tour de force of awesomeness. Houseway. Something to do with a dog, apparently. Look at Miss Rena. Hey, obviously I understand why everybody... <laughs> To her to be a real playable character. My first thought was, I wonder if it could be the boss of Komori Tea House, Tarumaru. Hmm. Tomalor? Tarumaru? Oh, yeah, he might actually have what it takes. Hmm, you think he was the one rescuing animals during the war? Sounds likely, doesn't it? Boss of a tea house by day, changes outfit after work, then runs to a war zone to save lives. And what a fascinating character it would make for a light novel. But the question is, do we think he was only saving animals? Are you saying you know something? I'm just speculating, little one. You know how much I like to let my imagination run wild. You can run wild on me. Guys, stop! <laughs> I look forward to opening up this fortune slip. Oh my knows what lord! what might be written inside? Oh, I want to open that up. I'm done! That was it! That was the last one! That was it! That was the... I'm lying. That... Oh, was that it? <laughs> Bro, okay, so we've had like a bunch of stuff pull up in the mix. Do not touch the Dharma. It is not a staff member. Is the Dharma. It's fucking Sayu, of course. Uh, cry. Can't crawl taller. Hold on, what else? Can we get her out of here? <laughs> no, we literally can't. That sucks! I want to see Sayu! Can I talk to you, Ms. Rita? No? What are you holding there? A paint? Is that a paintbrush? Uh, we got some food. I think we got a couple new, like, I think this little dog thing is new over here. I think we got a couple lighting settings. Yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to record record that real quick. All right, I think, I think we're actually finishing the event today. Oh, really? We're going to decorate the venue. I got all the stuff. Let's see what we got. A baho? A baho? What we got? What's new? I think there's some new conches. There's some new signs. Oh yeah, the conches are like speakers. That's really awesome, actually. Thank you both so much. At last, everything on the list is done. Hey, oh yeah. I'm afraid I still have some final preparations to make, but I'll see you tomorrow. Then the party can begin. Oh, the party about to begin, all right. All right, let's go, let's do this. It's fucking sweating in my room right now, and I don't know why, but we're gonna cook anyway. Ito! Let's go. It's time. Oh, compadres, you're here. Hey, serious props to you both. This place looks amazing. Even better than I'd imagined. <laughs> so I forgot what the hell you've been doing for the past two days. <sighs> Everything looks Or five perfect. days. We're ready for business. Traveler, Paimon, you have our thanks. Can I get some bread? Guys, guys, why so serious? That ain't rock and roll, man. Oh, boy. Hey, look at that. My favorite melon's a fast learner. Also, I hear you're going to be taking the stage tonight. Oh, oh, Lord. Itching for a little competition, huh? Oh, boy. Uh, Paimon was just joking. <sighs> Seriously, Dvorak? Unbelievable. Getting cold feet? Nah, don't blame you. 
I am the reigning champion of the great sing-along, after all. I don't think anyone wants to take your title. Okay, come on, Pavan, you can be Edo. Yay! Oh, you think so? No. Because Paimon totally thinks so, too. No. Then bring it on. No. <laughs> She's like, Man. Oh, Paimon's bringing it, all right. Oh, dear. Paimon's bringing it all the way home. Ha! Oh, dear. Oh, did you find that dog? Oh, yeah, that was like... The whole, look at Rena, bro. The whole point of this quest. Ah, we hit a complete dead end. Goro said he didn't know anything. Mamoru and the guys asked around the city, but no luck there either. What if it really is in Tenchukaku? Is that why we can't find it? Is Tenchukaku a place we can't go? Oh, no, I feel like we've no, been there. don't go poking around Tenchukaku again. Oh, You'll no. give Kujosara a migraine. Oh, I know where it is, never mind. Couldn't agree more. If I bother her too much, I'll end up getting struck by lightning. You be alright. So that's why this time I kept my distance and just threw some paper notes towards Tenchukaku. Oh Hopefully my Hopefully the riding Shogun sees them and hands the dog over. Wait, what? You're still taking a big risk there. It looks like Doshin Shikanoin was right. It's probably just a local legend after all. Wait a damn minute. Oh, never mind. Well, let's hope not, because that would really suck. Wish I had more time to look into it, but unfortunately, this guy's got a performance to practice for. Where the hoes at? Now, don't forget, there's lyrics and music scores in the jam zone, so no wussing out tonight. Don't get too cocky, bull checker. We'll see who's rock and roll. Oh, my. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Game on, Mini Melon. Oh, Paimon better get some practice in at the jam zone soon. No way is Paimon gonna lose to Ito! Who was judging? Oh, by the way, we invited a ton of people this time. Oh, word? Including some people you know. Oh, word? A few have already shown up what and they're asking about you. Wanna go say hi? Of course they ask about me because I'm the best. I know Yoimi is cool, here. Oh, yeah! Let's go see them! Paimon's curious to find out who you invited. Where's Yoimi at? Is there more than just Yoimi, though? Let me turn around. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Kokomi and okay, Goro's here. Toma, Yoimiya! Yeah, let's go. What are y'all talking about? Oh, you're a real trooper, Yoimiya. This must be one of the furthest places you've ever delivered to. I promised Ito that I'd supply fireworks for his festival. I wasn't about to go back on my word. Hey, Toma, Yoimiya. Traveler, Paimon. Cool, you're here too. Of course, it's been too long, has it? <laughs> Well, looks like I owe the Arataki gang a huge thank you. If they weren't putting on this event, who knows when I would have gotten to see you next. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that? In case it was too subtle for you, Toma is complaining that you guys never make time to come and visit your old pals. Quick back, quick side note, side rant. Well, it's not really a rant, but Yoi Mia's voice actor is also Gavi from Attack on Titan, and that show obviously is fucking intense and just hearing you again is just like uh like That's it's so true weird. obviously traveling is very important to you but you gotta take a break every once in a while no just remember that you've got friends out there that would love nothing more than the chance to make you feel looked after can i have a sandwich please of course oh i heard this really cool thing i gotta share with you guys hey I know I'm not really like a guy to ship people, but like Yoimi and Toma, would they like kind of be something? So, Ito I feel said like that, that they the really Toma fit well together. The festival comes from a story about a dog that saved animals in the war zone. How amazing is that? It's dope as fuck. What do you know about this dog, Toma? It's gangster shit. Everyone knows how well connected you are. Well, come on, Toma, what's going on? For once, not much, I'm afraid. Cap. I guess my connections are one key canine short, but assuming this really happened. I feel like Watatsumi Island would have had to be involved. Mm. This is a dog who managed to sneak in and out of a war zone, repeatedly, without leaving a trail for anyone to follow. Whatever the case, it would have needed someone to help cover its tracks. As far as I know, the Shogun's army doesn't do that kind of thing. Mm. So you're saying it was the Sanganomiya troops? They had a specially trained dog for rescuing critters from the battlefield? Is it really Goro, bro? Sounds kind of far-fetched if you ask me. Do we really think Sanganomiya's forces had enough manpower to fight a full-scale war and run a, a, a what, a canine wildlife rescue operation on the side? I don't know. Okay, well, if it wasn't Sanganomiya's side, it must have been the Shogunate. Okay, but I doubt they had the manpower either. Right. So, in my view, it's more likely that Mr. Dvorak simply made the story up as something to capture people's imaginations. I mean, he's right. an artist, right? Isn't rock music about expressing things we don't fully understand? 
I mean, that's also like dubstep. It's not like, like, I don't know, everything. In a way. Uh, don't question it, just feel it. Hmm. Sure. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. That makes you an artist too, Yoimiya! Fireworks are your art. Facts. <laughs> I'll take it. And on that note, boy, do I have an art show for you tonight. Oh, yeah. You miss it. Oh, yeah. All right, nice. All right, let's go talk to... Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. They know what they're doing. Kokomi, it's been a hot minute. This Miss Hina looks very familiar. Mm. Even the outfit. Oh, my lord. Woo! Hey, come on, Brit. All right. <clears throat> uh, I was thinking the same thing, Your Excellency, but I just can't put my finger on I it. I just, I just wonder who she looks like. She really is the spitting image. <laughs> look at that slow look to him. It's like, uh, is that your mama? Of who? <clears throat> Goro, come to me! Hey! The hell going on? It's been eight hundred thousand years. Oh, hello, you two. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again. I was just asking Shinobu if she knew where you were. Oh, so you've been thinking about me? Hey, what you be writing in your diary? Stop! This is a nice surprise. Paimon didn't expect to run into you two at an Arataki Gang music festival. I heard... I hear that Goro helped secure the venue. Oh, I barely did anything. Why they gotta have Miss Rina? No, Y'all, I'm tripping, bro. <laughs> a reader for my That's Life column was asking for advice about it, so I figured I'd help out. Turned out the reader in question was Mr. Arataki Ito. They drew her so insane, bro. I need, her excellency I need to relax. was also very supportive of the whole thing. Mm. An international rock and roll music festival sounded like a good way to attract tourists. Mm. And it's to bring attention to the plight of living things, right? Mm. Seems like a meaningful cause. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently it has something to do with a dog that was a war hero? Although it's sadly yeah. probably not a true story. Have either of you heard anything about that? Oh, you mm -hmm. know. Bits and pieces. Nothing Zane. concrete. Hmm, yeah, no, me neither. Damn. Hmm, those sounded suspiciously like prepared answers. Oh, Paima, excuse me, Paima, what you trying to say? <laughs> Probably because we've answered that question before. Oh. Mr. Arataki Ito came to ask us about it a while back. We'd certainly love to help if we can. Well, you can. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> actually... I was hoping to ask for your opinion on something. Is Miss Rena fine as hell? <laughs> Does Miss Rena oh! look familiar to you at all? Oh, she look mad familiar, girl. I have a strange girl. feeling like I've seen her somewhere before. Oh, she look mad familiar. Look at my look at my people face. I'm, they're like I'm I'm just in I'm just in disbelief of what I'm looking at. Oh, um. I, you know, she kind of looked like. Somebody standing right in damn front of me, but I didn't say that. Hmm, maybe it's just me. Come on, man. Ah, she probably just looks similar to someone you know. Like how the traveler looks similar to his sister. Bro. There's no mystery here, don't overthink it. She, did, she didn't have to really bring up my sister like that. Ah, I see. Well, that does make sense. I mean, I know the whole point of us being in Teyvat is to find our sister, but clearly that's taking ten... That's gonna take, like... Obviously, at least four years. Traveler, let's get out of here. Okay. Okay, bye. We'll see you later, bye. Uh, uh, Arlik, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. Arlikino's my goat. Arlikino's my goat. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta relax. Hey, there you are. I sent you some letters a few days ago. Oh. Have they shown up yet? Uh, no. Ooh, does this mean you figured it out? I've made some progress, but I'm still missing the final piece of the puzzle. I bet. What'd you learn? I don't have anything conclusive yet. But I have a hunch that it involved both the Yashiro Commission and Sanganamiya. Really? What? You mean like in cahoots during the war? Shh. Like I said, it's just a hunch. Let's not get carried away. Okay. Anyway, I've written to the station, and they shouldn't take too long to get back to me. Yuriki Iwata should be able to help find what I need. We're just not able to talk beside you at all? Like, in the meantime. At all? You'll just have to be patient. Well... I've been waiting for my sister to come back for four years. So. I would have gone back to the station to look into it myself, but I knew Ito was performing tonight. 
And I didn't want to miss it. You know who else is performing tonight? This motherfucker right here. Oh, wow. Sounds like I'm in for a real treat. Or a real I L. I definitely picked the right place to be tonight. I don't know about that one, Will she... the Traveler's long-serving voice finally graduate from speech to song in a triumphant victory over the Oni Rocker of Hana Mizaka? They don't call her flat rock and roll feel for none. <laughs> I'll be awaiting with bated breath. Can we get like some rhythm DJs in the mix? Both of you. No more stupid nicknames. You literally call everyone a nickname, bro. Uh, I didn't realize nickname. so many people we know would be here. Better get practicing or tonight could be super embarrassing. Hey, Mr. Dvorak, you're still here. Come on now, let me cook. Sure am. I've been checking over the equipment, scores, and lyric sheets to make sure everything's ready for tonight. Yes, sir. Shinobu was telling me how popular light novels are here in Inazuma. That's true. So I've tweaked the melody and lyrics for a more Arataki gang feel with a light novel twist. Light novels plus rock music, so... Light rock! Does that exist? <laughs> well, I guess it does now. I actually didn't change too much. Just took out the dog and made it about Onikabuto instead. Why? Could be more up Ito's alley. What the hell? We, we, okay. This event couldn't have happened without him. It's my way of showing him some appreciation, I guess. Give a damn about the appreciation. We need to know about the story. What? You got rid of the dog? Wasn't that the whole inspiration behind the festival? There's a whole ass poster of the dog in this shit. Yes, but that's all it was. You can't the do it. inspiration. You can't do that. Doesn't matter if we change it to an Onikabuto <laughs> yes, or it you does. or me or anything else. Yes, it does. It's the spirit of it that counts. Not really. The spirit? What do you mean? You lost the spirit. Um, the spirit of rock and roll? Okay, should have seen that coming. Do you think people have been getting too hyper focused on the dog story? I mean, but we should kind of like. No! <laughs> It's all about the music, my friends. Just enjoy the music. That's all that matters. I, I get what he's saying, because, like, I feel that. When people, like, are get too, like, in-depth with some music. But, like, bro, I want to know about the dog story. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, well, speaking of enjoying music, is it all right if Paimon goes first? Paimon's got to get practicing, or Bull Checker's going to hog the spotlight tonight. By all means, be my guest. I knew you'd come around to the idea of going on stage. Here's the music score and lyrics. I can't wait to see this. Ooh, let's see now. What's this song called? What it called? I got reincarnated as an Onikabuto but what? the world upside down. But what in the hell? What sort of song title is that? Is this supposed to be rock and roll? Soft rock, actually. <sighs> that soft rock gang? I gotta see these no, lyrics. No peeking! You can hear them tonight when Paimon sings a song. Yes, ma'am. Paimon's gonna rock so hard, Bullchucker won't know what hit him. Oh, dear. <laughs> She's going off. Yo, the voice actor is going crazy. I forgot, I forgot, Kar Karina Bottinger, they're going crazy right now. The time flies by, night soon falls. Music lovers make turns showcasing the talent on stage. Whoops and cheers ring out as the crowd goes wilder and the atmosphere gets wilder before you know that the moment has arrived. Are we getting like... Oh. Oh. Are we getting like a cutscene? I don't Ladies so. and gentlemen. Oh, hello. Tonight is a night to celebrate, and I trust you're all having a wonderful time. Oh, yeah. It's been a non stop Look at the rock and roll ride this Look evening. Look at Hazel. And we're Why are you the the end. But first, it is my huge honor to invite two very special guests to the stage the illustrious Mr. Arataki Ito and Miss Paimon. Oh, she's so scared. The two of them will be performing a brand new song written specially for tonight's event. It's called I Got Reincarnated as an Onikabuto and Flip the World Upside Down. It's too damn long. Take it away. All right, here we go, gang. Here we go. Oh, we're getting a cutscene. Hey. Okay, look. Hey. Ain't no Metro on that beat. Look. You got it. You got it, you got it. Go crazy, go crazy. Hit that beat like. Raven, <laughs> an arrow to the heart, and the Bakke Danuki. He can sing! He can sing! I will be here by bequeath a my mora <laughs> to hunt <coughs> to my pa. 300 to two, mama. Oh, here they go. Yo, Max, what you doing, bro? Metal 
Actually, so sick. <laughs> that was hilarious. Look at Hazel, bro. If you don't join the damn crowd, why am I clapping so damn slow? You're not even on beat, dude. I'm crying, bro. <laughs> dude, why was Max Middleman murdering that shit? When did he learn to sing like that? And then Paimon hit that note too at the end? Bro, that was that was too funny, bro. I absolutely loved that. I absolutely loved that. I I, I didn't think it was gonna be that good. I didn't think they were gonna be able to sing like that, bro. But I should know better. Because these are voice actors. They're professionals. Of course they can sing. But you and your friends approach the stage. Congratulations to rock stars. I think Ito won that, bro. Come on. Ito obviously won that. Damn so it. that's rock music, huh? It's a little different than I imagined. It's definitely soft rock, though. It definitely wasn't as a, uh, like, you know, heavy rock. Really? It's different from what I'd heard before. Could be a relatively new genre of rock, I suppose. It was this fire-ass song in the background. So, how'd you like my performance? Did I dominate this little melon here or what? You, you, <laughs> you definitely did. We not gonna sit here and lie. Okay, bull chugger, you got owned and you know it. Come on, nobody agree with your ass. You did good, but come on, man. Ito obviously, <laughs> he did crazy. Oh, stop it, he you went two. Crazy. I think both of you are sensational. I went crazy. Here, here. <laughs> really mind blowing stuff, guys. I call it a draw. You're very evenly matched. Y'all just, y'all just bluffing. Come on, bro. Uh, you think? It's bullshit. Okay, well, uh, what about you, my compadre? Who do you think is the most rock and roll? I'm not even gonna sit here and cap, bro. Anyway, when I swear to me. <laughs> Ito. <laughs> That's right, compadre. You tell him. Come on. Hold the majesty of the rock and roll king of Hanamizaka. Obviously. <gasps> Traitor. That's it. Paimon's not talking to you for the next minute. Oh, oh, oh what a tragedy. <laughs> Let's not argue anymore, shall we? Ito and Paimon, you both gave incredibly moving performances. I owe you all an enormous debt of gratitude. Can I get some bread? Without your help, this music festival never would have happened. Can I get some dinero? I mean, pr more Prima Gems, more Arlequino <laughs> Poles. Don't mention it, Jack Attack. Hey, if we hadn't met, I wouldn't even know what the spirit of rock and roll means. I ain't lying. The spirit of rock and roll? So, what does it mean? What does it mean for rock music to have a spirit? Go ahead. It I, I was gonna answer, rock but... Up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. Just like me and Paimon. Yeah, that's obviously not what it means. Mr. Dvorak, could you please give us the official definition? Someone needs to take this guy down a peg. <laughs> <laughs> An unofficial definition? I don't know that one exists. You really don't. It's an emotional experience. As though you're hearing your own story speak to you through the music. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking that the spirit of rock and roll is, uh, well, like the Oni Kapito in the song. Having the courage to grab life by the horns and survive against all the odds. Guess I have a better sense of rock and roll than I thought. <laughs> what about you, Yoimiya? Oh, she was loving it. She was grabbing my arm and saying, hey, no, 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 no. Like, woman, I was already staring at them. Oh, well, I thought it was going to be all about that dog, but then the song didn't even mention it, so... Yeah, that was kind of bullshit. Was that supposed to be symbolic? Like, if the dog didn't exist, maybe the injured animals didn't either. If there was no injured animals, then that means there was no war, which means the world is at peace. It ain't. Oh, so for Yoimiya, the rock and roll spirit is all about world peace. Yeah, but it ain't, because we still got Natlon, and we got uh, Shneznaya, and then the whole Abyss Order, and still the Fatui. Got a lot of shit still, dude. You know, but what about you? Me? Uh, I hadn't given it all that much thought. I was mostly worrying about whether those paper notes boss threw into Tenshukaku are going to get him in trouble with the Tenryo Commission. 
<laughs> that must mean that for Shinobu, the rock and roll spirit is about keeping the Arataki gang safe. Shinobu, seriously, you've got nothing to worry about. If the Raiden Jogan had seen any of those notes, she'd have come to join the party. Paimon agrees that you don't need to worry. Otherwise, Heizo definitely would have arrested Ido by now. <laughs> Wait, where is that guy anyway? Oh yeah, where and did he go? Where did Kokumi and Goro go? Uh-oh. Oh, oh Doshin Shikanoin had to run back to the station, so he didn't get the chance to say goodbye to you guys. Oh. But he did leave something for you. Oh. It's over there. Oh. Well, oh, the box? I was As thinking for of... the other two, they couldn't stick around because they had a government meeting to get to. They did ask me to pass on their regards, though. Man, I talked to them for like two seconds. The bro. fact that these busy people all made time to attend the party is telling. Clearly, Ito wasn't exaggerating about the stature of the Arataki gang. Ito, what can I say? It's truly been an honor to work with you. <laughs> well, Jack Attack, I can't take all the credit. Let's not forget the Traveler's part in all this. I did all the damn work. A lot of people showed up because they knew he'd be here. If we do this again, we gotta make sure we find a way to get him on stage. Oh, oh, brother, look. <laughs> did y'all see how I did all the music event uh, with the actual button pressing? Yeah. It ain't looking good, homie. How's that sound, Capadre? I got Get that play. rock and roll spirit ready, because next time it'll be your turn to rock our collective socks off. I hope I can DJ and play some doubles, because that's about all I can do. But it'll go crazy. It'll go crazy. Oh, here we go. Uh, your Excellency, I believe the Tenryo Commission detective is... Don't worry about it, Goro. The Puppy Union was a joint venture between... What the hell is that? ...and the Yoshiro Commission. What is that? can maintain secrecy, then. All the better for it. It's adorable. But that was never the main goal. What is that? We saved some lives, and that's what matters. Uh, I was more worried about the potential impact on your reputation, Your Excellency. After all, some of the lives we've saved belong to the Shogunate. If someone with an agenda finds out, it could cause an uproar. So they are hiding something. Don't worry. There might be a way to make it work out in our favor. Really? How? Times have changed. We and Narukami Island are supposed to be working together now, so it's not necessarily a bad thing if people discover that we were already cooperating with the Yashiro Commission even during the war. Hmm, huh. I see. Goro, if you want my opinion, you should be more concerned about Miss Hina than you are about this. Miss Hina? Huh? What makes you say that? <coughs> I hear she works for a That's Life magazine as well. She's young, popular. Good? Pretty. Mm -hmm. And she seems to be just as good at offering comfort to people in need mm -hmm. as you are. So it looks like you have some competition. Oh, she can comfort me and I am in need. <clears throat> oh, uh, understood, Your Excellency. I will work hard to stay ahead of the competition. Bro, this dude Goro is so, like... He don't like Yaimiko. Oh, he's speaking of... Oh. Learned something new today. I never knew that the Hydro Nation's rock music had the power to stir up lightning. Hydro Nation? The hell did Fontaine have to do with this? Miko, a few days ago, some strange paper notes flew into Tenshukaku, oh. demanding that I hand over the dog. So I am here to see what on earth it was all about. Dude, we just got the ride in, bro. Well, it's A, it's not ride in, the ride in Shogun, I guess, but that's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at this little. I just ooh. You must have gotten yourself a pet puppy. Look at this. Just them two just standing there? As it happens, I also received an invitation letter via Sara. I've never heard the name Arataki before. Uh huh. But they must be one of my subjects, and so I thought, why not grant them their wish? What the hell are you doing? Ah, so you came here to make a little Oni's wish come true, hmm? Well, what, what would that wish be? I'll tell you what What I was going to say was, I, Goro out here scared of Yai Miko. He probably scared of Raiden Shogun, or A. He he, he he's, looks like he's a little scared of Miss Hina, too. Bro. This dude need <laughs> Come on, Goro. So tell me, how do you plan to respond to the Fontanian musician? It sounded to me like his music was commenting on the war. What the hell are you talking? Oh, Dvorak. The war. I'm not sure we can give him the answer he would hope for. But if nothing else, I know that we must avoid another war at all costs. 
Of course. The people cannot be made to suffer like that again. Especially because of your ass. Hmm. But what if the bigger war comes to pass? What then? Time for the Rider Shogun to return. If it cannot be avoided, then I will have no choice but to fight. Okay. Hmm. Well, if that day comes, I'm sure that everyone here tonight will fight by your side. That's crazy. Oh, dude. Are we gonna get like a lot more Inazuma lore? Cause they just dropped so much stuff, I feel like, right there, bruh. They got um we talked about Miss Hina, and then we got right in and freaking Yai Miko up here. They just disappeared, didn't they? Fuck. I wanted to talk to them again. Oh, everyone's gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, that I didn't know how this was gonna end up, but that was actually really, really cool. They definitely that was definitely like the the climax. That was so awesome, bro. I <laughs> that was so cool to just kind of be back in Inazuma. I I I did kind of wish we got like more cutscenes uh, or like more a uh, dialogue because there was only two. This ain't your daddy's iridescent store. It's the iridescent Arataki rocking for life tour to force of awesomeness. We only got those two, um, which was still cool, but it definitely is. It definitely feels a little short. I mean, you can complete it in literally like a day. You can do this in a day. But for me, I'm time gated, so I, I did it. I was able to. I only could do it in a week because I had to. But we got Goro, boys. A talent crown. Oh yeah, oh, behind. General Goro of the Watatsumi Island Resistance, ready and waiting. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys certainly enjoyed. And uh, well, if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, I will see you all later. All what right. could the children be up to? Nothing. Bye bye now.